uh, in this particular uh, video, I'm going to show you how to develop a simple uh, Sarlet program or JSP program. Sarlet program and JSP program, both the ways you can create in the same fashion. Where how to create and run Sarlet program using WebLogic server. Here, WebLogic server in the sense, I am going to make use of WebLogic workshop. It is very much similar to your Eclipse tool. But Eclipse tool will not be having inbuilt server. When it comes to WebLogic, will be having inbuilt server, that is so WebLogic server. So, here how to create that particular project, how to run that particular project. Let me show you the sample server program. First thing, what you need to have is, you need to have one WebLogic installed into your machine and uh, once if you install, automatically you will be having WebLogic workshop which will be very much uh, similar to this one. This is your WebLogic workshop uh, screen, similar to your Ecl Eclipse also. Eclipse also in the same fashion it will look. Now here, Serlets, JSP, Springs, all those things are uh, uh, advanced level which is not a part of our uh, Java projects. These are all advanced level completely different. When it comes to advanced level 1 we will be having servlets and JSP. Now here how we can create a servlet. The same fashion we will be creating other projects also. Now let me show you first click on new. Here Java project if it is regular Java programs you just go with the Java project. If it is uh, advanced Java, like Java, uh, Springs, Sarlets, all those things, you should not go for this one because those are all completely related to web. Those are not console based program. So you just go to other. Here you can find, uh, you can find the option when it comes to web, dynamic web project. You have to select this. Uh, before uh, selecting this, you just uh, remember one thing over here. In your uh, Eclipse or WebLogic, of course, in WebLogic you will not be having two different types. In Eclipse, you will be having two different types. One is Eclipse with the Java projects, Eclipse with the advanced Java also. Here, if you are able to see Java and Java double E, then only you can run dynamic projects in that. That means advanced Java projects. If you are not seeing Java double E over there, then you have to skip that. Because your uh, advanced Java programs, you cannot run in that particular projects, in that uh, software. Uh, when it comes to my scenario, uh, WebLogic Workshop will be having both. So, without any tension, I can proceed from that. Okay. Dynamic web project, I can select it. Click on next. Just a while. Okay. Here it is taking target runtime, Oracle WebLogic server version 10.3 this is the server which will be used for running your server side programs next uh, default that is the thing and uh, project name i'll uh, name it as uh, first servlet okay click on next you don't need to do anything over here next yes okay just click on finish that's it and simple uh, servlet you can create with this particular project right now okay do you want to open perspective yes yeah now it is in java double version okay you can see yeah web.xml is created index.jsp is created of course index.jsp is not required even if you are fine with index.html is also sufficient you can go with that now, next thing what you have to do over here is right click new servlet. You can go with this. And uh, do you want HTTP servlet, otherwise, genetic servlet? Genetic servlet means you just change the class name over here. Otherwise, uh, HTTP servlet, just ignore this class name. I'll uh, give it as fast. Click next. Here, URL uh, mappings. If you want a separate type of URL mapping, what is URL mapping? All those things I will be explaining it separately for you. Next, uh, click on next. And uh, already we have discussed about uh, this particular thing in our servlets. We will be having uh, different types of methods, lifecycle methods. Which is the lifecycle method? 
you want i want only get method then select only get method i don't want these things okay abstract uh, methods that is get method is required and interfaces i don't want any interface so i can remove this click finish okay so servlet is created over here this thing you can remove it okay just make it public and uh, with the response itself i can write some content response dot get writer dot print ln h1 hello okay that's it nothing else this is a simple program and of course your uh, do get method will throw solid exception as well as i exception also over here you can see this will print uh, hello and uh, slightly we have to modify web.xml go to this okay source i can change it okay this is servlet mapping and uh, servlet this is all not required i can remove this of course, uh, this portion context param not used and servlet mappings, all those things are not required directly. You can remove it. And our uh, client side program is index.jsp that will become our welcome file. Why we need to give extra things and waste our uh, time of loading the server. So, remove everything, keep only one. Next, okay. Now we just go to index.jsp because that is our client side program. Here I need to, I'll remove this. Just I will uh, straight away add HTML. One sec, I'll remove this. Okay. Body. Action equal to what's the URL pattern? You just have a look, okay? Slash first, take it in this way, and anyway, it is a get method, so you don't need to specify any methods over here. I'll specify input type equal to submit value click me something now this particular project you straight away right click run as run on server yes manually define new server here you can choose suppose if any other servers are there you can choose that particular thing Otherwise, you can select our WebLogic server only. Click next. Okay. And it is taking up that particular server. Browse this. Select any one of this. Not an issue. I'll select the last one. It takes few seconds for loading this particular uh, server. After that, it will load finish. Just a while. It's loading. This is uh, already pre-configured server, so it will not create any issues with that. See, you can see here it is already used by some other server itself. So, uh, for my case, I can go with existing server because already I have created. When you are creating uh, newly, no issues. So just click next. You can remove all only your servlet. See, these are all my previous servlets which I have executed. Servlet JSP program. Why you need to configure all those projects and uh, why to waste your server time loading? Select only your project. Click next. Click finish. That's it. You can see your uh, server will be starting up 30%. Further, it is continuing. 55, 57. So far. 
fast it's loading uh, initially basically in most of the servers initial time it will take a lot of time to start it up only for the first time later uh, onwards you can uh, use it properly because uh, libraries everything has to set up right initially for the first time so it takes time 75 percent and of course uh, weblogic server web sphere these are the most highly preferred servers in the companies also so you just uh, try to engage yourself uh, using this particular servers only that will be better for your career also okay it is 77 percent 78 it's taking time okay you can see the logs also you can see the logs also it is starting the dell apps everything it will be showing the information over here okay it is publishing that it's taking time wait for a while yes you have got a click me button on click it shows you the hello and the same thing you can you just copy this particular thing and you can paste it into your browser let me show you one scenario i can paste it over here i can click on this click me it shows the result over here in this way you can uh, run the project in server also i mean browser also after that you just uh, click on this red button server will be stopped shutting down your server because uh, already if one server is running one more server if you are trying to start up if you are not stopping the server properly it creates lot of issues for your uh, execution so make sure that you are stopping your server properly this is what the setup installation is all about related to servlets or jsp spring anything in weblogic that is what the session is all about thank you so much